Do I look different? Well, because you're a fiance now. I'm a fiance, man. The proposal almost had to happen without the ring, and it ends with it all going down less than 24 hours before the proposal. Okay. Scotty had planned a proposal and then realized, oh, I need a ring for this thing. <laughs> Listen, so if you know anything about me, you know that I'm the kind of person that when I decide to do something, boom, it's on the spot. Okay. This is going to happen. I'm going to do it. These are the date. Now we're going forward. And it's usually spontaneous. It's just whenever I feel it, like I feel right about it. I've done this multiple times. And Brett, I know you jumped in and been uh, on all kinds of situations and be like, all right, I guess we're going. This thing's going forward. Well, I also think it was really important, too, to talk about, like, how you knew you were going to propose for a very, very long time. Like, yeah. obviously, you wanted to get married to Shelby, and you knew this for almost for years now. But you had wrestled with the uh, concept of how to get the ring. Yes. And I think this was, like, actually, a, a like, a changing of your mind because you were like, I want to get the diamond. I want to yeah, do this. And you changed your it. mind. I want to do my thing. And yeah. you changed your mind even how you got the diamond itself. So, so let me start. This is, like, le- less than six weeks out, okay, yeah. that I go, okay, this is going to happen. And now I started, so I, t- I ended up talking to her mom, and her mom brought up this fact that they have this family diamond, which actually goes back, we found out, farther than before. So it's actually her uh, great, 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 grandma's diamond which is really really special um and and so i was like oh okay this is a i i guess i'll use that i i got out of the mindset of going i have to pay for this it's all has to be on me this i want to pick out the diamond which probably was a bad decision anyways because i'm gonna be honest clueless with when it came, when it comes to diamonds i think a lot of guys out there when it comes yeah. to buying jewelry and i and, thought it actually had more meaning because it yeah. became a family diamond passed down from generation to generation so and by the way you can see the picture of the diamond at hot 93.3 hits the diamond is yeah. beautiful you thank you you got lucky uh, i'm not thinking you this is the family <laughs> i picked that diamond <laughs> 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 I agreed to it. Uh, so then, of course, you know, the set, I wanted to get the setting and fi- figure sure. out all that stuff. What I didn't realize is that when you do a custom setting, it takes time. It takes weeks, sometimes six weeks to get these done. And I was like, okay, well, we're only at about five and close to four and a half weeks at, at this point. And this is when uh, I started to go, okay, this is classic Scotty. Uh, it's going to be chaotic, but somehow I'm going to pull this off, right? Yeah. And so this is the point where uh, I started reaching out to different custom jewelers here in DFW, and I ended up talking with uh, Robin's brothers, who, uh, man, they were amazing. I didn't know they did custom, uh, you know, settings and stuff. So I found out, and they were they they were like, okay, we're going to try and do what we can and try to get it here on time. So that we started that process. We picked something out. I was on a FaceTime with her mom. I, her mom sent me maybe 10,000 different, you know, texts and different uh, pictures. And I was working with her sister. Cause I really wanted I was really, I really wanted to get something that she just fell in love with, you know, right away. And something that in her mind, this was, this is not only everything I wanted, but everything, you know, made sure it wasn't the stuff she didn't want to. Yeah. So even though you guys had talked about marriage a while and for a long time, you still were part of the designing of the ring. It wasn't like she goes, Hey, this is the ring setting I want. And then you went there and just had it made. You still had a, 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 I played a role in that and used her family for that. So, uh, started making some decisions and now comes the drama, right? We're about, let's say almost three and a half weeks out and I need the stone. Uh, and so the stone is in Jacksonville, Florida. Her mom lives in Orlando and it's with her grandma in Jacksonville. So her mom drives three and a half hours or three hours, whatever it is from Orlando to Jacksonville to get, get up there and get this, get the stone. She gets there and it's in a safe and she goes, oh, mom, where's the safe? Where's the, the code and the key to the safe? I don't know. So no one knew where to get the diamond. No one knew how to get the diamond out of the safe. She's calling her brother. Finally, they, uh, she, or, you know, very grandma like brings out this like uh, thing of ten thousand keys on it, right? A ring with like you know sure. all these. Key- and so her mom went through all these keys, got the got the diamond out. Finally, got it. Had to take him to a certain jeweler in Orlando that only her mom said, "No, this is a special diamond. I will only take it to this one." So I had to go to that person. She convinced him to pop out the stone right there because that could have taken another week, depending sure. on how busy he was. Got it to the ma- to the post office, had to do all the insurance, and they're like, okay, this was a Tuesday, three weeks out. I was like, okay, I'll have it by, uh, like, Thursday or Friday, and Robin's brother said, okay, we can turn this custom thing around in, you know, these 14, 15 days. I think we can do this for you. Thursday rolls around, no diamond. Friday comes, I'm sitting in the mailroom like a crazy man, stalking the, the mailman. No diamond. Scotty had left the show because the, the mailman was supposed to come on that Friday, and uh, like noon or whatever, left the, the studio and I didn't text him that weekend and I didn't hear from him. And I was kind of like, 
I thought I would hear that, oh, I got the diamond. And so when I came into work on Monday, I was like, oh, so how did it all work out? He's like, I don't have the stone, dude. I don't have the Nothing. diamond. Nothing. I, I don't have the diamond. By Monday, he didn't have the diamond. I was like, oh, my God, dude, you're supposed to propose like in 10 days now. Yep. He's like, yeah, I know. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> So uh, the the problem with not having a diamond is they didn't have the measurements for obviously the the setting. So sure. that's why they couldn't get in time. So finally Monday rolls around. I'm in the mail room. I'm doing my I have my computer there. I'm doing work. I'm sit, I'm camping out in the mail room waiting for this post. Nothing Monday. Tuesday rolls around. Mailman comes. Nothing. I call and I was I could this is maybe the hundredth time I called. Yeah, we have it here. You got to come pick it up. Oh my God! You would have thought I was Batman driving the Batmobile <laughs> trying to get out of there. And I was fly. I got to the post office. I got that ring. I got it over to Robin's brothers, and they said, "Okay, we're going to do our best to turn this thing around." And it really didn't look like it was going to happen. I mean, that's asking a lot of them, even though they were helping as much as possible. So they, we got it. The idea is that we were okay. We're going to do a solitaire, right? This is what we're going to do. We'll put it in like you know, kind of a generic setting. We have the diamond, and you could propose with this, and we can bring it back. I was like, okay, you know that that works. You yep. know. It's not, it's not ideal, but it, but it works. Yeah, you were pissed. Yeah. I was a little, I wasn't pissed. I was a little disappointed. And that's mostly said, my fault. We were pulling out and he goes, yeah, it kind of sucks, man. We yeah. were pulling out, going somewhere, driving together. He goes, yeah, it kind of sucks, yeah. man. I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was like, it does. Yeah. It does kind of suck actually. <laughs> and that was, to- it was totally my fault. So finally, so I'm, pr- I'm going to propose here on Sunday. It is Saturday morning at 10, what? 9 48 AM. I get a phone call. Hey. The ring is here. If you can get the diamond, we can get it in, and we'll and we'll make it happen. Whoa! Okay. And now, originally, I, I they said they might be able to get it in, and I was telling Brett, and Brett's like, "Well, maybe I should go get it. I'll go get drop it off for you." I was like, "I don't know. I just feel like I want to do it." Once again, classic Scotty movie does not listen to me. Like right. I told him his entire life, he should just always listen to me, and he did not listen to me. So we went there. I actually brought was able to bring my son with me. So Chance and I went to Robin's Brothers. We sat there. They they pulled out the uh, the setting, and it was gorgeous. Like I was almost in, in tears because sure. this was like the moment. I was like, "Oh my god." I'm looking at this thing I'm about to give my future wife and they put the diamond in it and it was so damn sparkly and, and I was looking through the little microscope and and Chance put down his Pokemon game for a second to even look at it. That's how sparkly it was because he doesn't put that thing down ever. And uh, and I had the ring. I had, I had the ring that I was going to put on my future wife's hand. I, I thought that's the reason, you know, it was one of the reasons that Scotty said, hey, I want to be the one to go picks it up instead of having me and my wife go pick it up. He's yeah. like, I want to be the first one to see it when it's all set. And yeah. Like done. And so I kind of got why you wanted to do it. But Scotty also has that find my iPhone thing or what is my, my find my fr- it's find my whatever friend. It's called basically as a tracking device on himself. And Shelby can see wherever he goes. And she knew where you were. She said <laughs> literally after he proposes, she goes, Dude, I, don't want to I start saw it. you were at Robinson Robin's Brothers on Saturday. She said, "I don't want to you start my, our, our, our engagement with a lie." But but she I cut. She wasn't sure if we were just going to look at the setting with chance. Or, or, yeah, yeah, with chance. And I tried to play it off like that's where the Pokey Gym was, and we were fighting Pokemon. I don't even know what that means either. Well, it's like we were playing a game, so I was trying to get. Uh, she was, knew you were picking up a ring or looking at a ring. Or rings. looking at a ring. So the proposal <laughs> went down. She had some suspicions, but we ended up having the ring. We pulled it off. Robin's brothers turned that sucker around in less than 10 days, which I think I think Pam and Matthew enough there. I think they deserve shout outs because they made my day really, really special. Or I should say Shelby's day really, really special. I'm learning. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you and Brett, you and Katie helped plan this whole thing and everyone at the Shark Rosa wildlife. Yeah. I mean, it just, it ended up, it ended up great. I'm just glad you proposed with, with a ring, ring and not pop. a Cracker Jack box. I was going a ring, ring pop. Or ring pop. Yeah. <laughs>